A percent done progress indicator is a graphical technique for showing how much of long jobs have been completed. Everyone would like their computer programs to run faster, but unfortunately there will always be jobs that take a noticeable amount of time to execute. Progress indicators give the user enough information to tell at a quick glance approximately what percent of the job has been completed and how long it'll be before it is finished. With most computer systems, when processing a long job, this is all you see. Even systems that are user-friendly in other ways, such as the Apple Macintosh and Xerox Star, only take the first step. These systems change the cursor to show that they are busy. The pictures tell the user that the system has accepted the command and that the user should wait. An improvement over static pictures is something that at least shows that the system is making progress on the commands and has not crashed. These two examples are from file transfer programs at PERC and Xerox PARC. The Macintosh does use a percent done progress indicator in one place when transferring files using Mac Terminal. Another way to show progress would be to use the hourglass we saw before, but to have the sand move from the top to the bottom as the job progresses. There is little reason why percent done progress indicators should not be more widely used. They can be implemented on mainframes and on small home computers. They do not require sophisticated graphics. For example, they can be easily displayed on character terminals. They can be cute or business-like, and they can be designed to reinforce the metaphor that a direct manipulation system is trying to present as in this example, which might be used by an office system. In most cases, a program can figure out, at least approximately, how long it'll run on a given input. For example, with compilers, text formatters, and other file processors, the amount of the input file read may be a good indication of the progress. For those programs that cannot calculate how long they will run, it is still a good idea to show that they are executing using a technique I've called random progress. In order to test whether systems with progress indicators are actually preferred by users, I ran a formal experiment using this simplified query system. The subject simply types into the various fields and then hits a key to have the query processed. After a period of time, the results are printed. The results are very encouraging. 50% of the subjects use one version with progress and one without, and 86.1% of these subjects preferred the version with progress indicators. Overall, the versions with progress indicators were rated better than the versions without. This effect is statistically significant, and there is only six chances out of 10,000 that the rating difference was caused by random effects. The experiment suggests that percent done progress indicators can have a positive effect on users' attitudes towards the computer system.